Hello there everybody, this is Net Yoshi here and today let's play Conker's Bad Fur Day on the Nintendo 64. Oh how I love this game, it is so fantastic. So appreciated for when it was first released. Yeah, I don't know why he doesn't like the Nintendo 64 logo, but whatever. So, in case you didn't get the message from the uh, little cutscene there and the uh, intro that said for mature audiences only, uh, this is an M-Ray game, so younger viewers might want to click away now while you still can. But uh, if you're going to stick around, uh, this is a very fantastic Nintendo 64 platforming game, definitely one of my favorites. It's definitely up there with Super Mario 64, Banjo-Kazooie, Donkey Kong 64, huh? games like that. And I'm just showing off the menu right now. Right now. Over there you can see Multi, which is short for Multiplayer. There is multiplayer in this game, I'm not sure if I'm going to be showing it off or not, but uh, we'll see about that. So anyways, we're going to start Game 1 up, because that's what all the cool guys do, is they start on Game 1. And Nintendo presents a rare-rare game. And don't worry, I won't be talking over all the talking cutscenes, I'm just talking right now because there's a lot of cutscenes in this game, and, uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of quiet moments because I won't be quiet for the cutscenes, so, yeah. So anyway, starring Conker and Barry. Now, Barry, we haven't seen her in a game yet, unless you count that cameo in Banjo-Kazooie. But Conker, we saw in Diddy Kong Racing, which I may do that game in the future, but we'll see about that. But anyways, there's Conker, and he doesn't look too happy. I wonder what's wrong. Let's cut you down, pal. <laughs> right then. Anyways, I'm gonna be quiet for the rest of the cutscene, so enjoy. Well, there I am. Conquer the king. King of all the land. Who'd have thought that? But how did I come to this, I hear you say? And who are those strange fellows that surround my throne? I hear you also say. Well, it's a long story. Come closer, and I'll tell you. It all started yesterday. What a day that was. It's what I call a bad fur day. Yeah, in case you guys didn't notice, uh, that's actually a parody of the intro to A Clockwork Orange, a uh, Stanley Kubrick film that I really should see, but I haven't yet. I do have it on DVD, but I still gotta watch it. <laughs> However, if you leave your like name and number and you sound cute, I may ring you back. Ciao! Hi, Barry. Hello. Barry, if you there, pick up. Hello! Oh, anyway. Look. I'm gonna be a bit late. Well, met up with a couple of the guys and they're off tomorrow to some, I don't know, fight some war somewhere. Anyway, um, I'll see ya. <laughs> Love you. I think she won. Conquer, put the phone down. Oh, oh, uh, right. Who's round is it? Yours. What again? Okay. Can someone lend me a fiver? Ah, uh, uh, I don't feel so good now. You guys enjoy yourself and all that, and I'll 
probably see you sometime next week. I gotta go home. I'll, I'll go this way. Oh, oh, no, that's the toilet. Let's uh, go this way. Yeah, that's better. Oh, that didn't look too good tonight. Ooh, hang on a sec. And that's what happens when you get drunk and have too many beers. So, never get drunk, kids, because it's no fun. I can't say that from experience, but um, I do know some people that have gotten drunk and they said it was a horrible thing, so don't do that. Well, can't quite make it out. Anyway, it seems pretty familiar to me. Well, what's that? Well, this way, I suppose. No need to cry over spilt milk. Quite literally. So finally we get the control of Conquer and all we can do right now is push the A button to hiccup and push the B button to uh, throw a weird looking punch. Yeah, it almost looks like he's supposed to be swinging something instead. Hmm, I wonder if we're going to get a weapon later. Hmm, spoiler word? Spoiler alert? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, we're starting off the game drunk so we can't really do much other than punch and hiccup which kind of sucks but uh, we'll be fixing that soon. I'm uh, not sure if my voice is going to sound different. Um, I'm using a new camera now because my old one unfortunately died. May it rest in peace. So we'll see how I sound with this one, but hopefully everything comes out okay. Anyways, let's go talk to the scarecrow over here. I wouldn't normally do that, but let's talk to him anyways. What's that? What's that? Hey, hey. Who? Who are you? Oh, hello. Can you help me? Ugh. Ugh. I, I need to get home and go to bed, because I don't feel very well at all. <laughs> oh, no. No. Oh, so you can't help me at all? Uh, uh, actually, yeah. Yes, I can. Maybe. Um, okay. What's your name? Beardy. Beardy? You haven't got a beard. No. Beardy. I scared birdies. Okay, birdie. Um, so how you, can you help me? Right. Let's uh, step over here. Uh, you see those buttons? Actually, you'll find that uh, 
Uh, they got got sensitive. <laughs> and uh, uh, well, actually, they uh, uh, pressed B. Press B. Oh yeah, the light comes on, uh, and it makes this nice ding. Right, uh, ding noise. You guys ding. Turn up, ding. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Okay, I'll press B. All right, so we just want to press B and see what happens. Oh. How? What does that mean? It means contact sensitive. It's sensitive to contacts. Try over there. Okay. Well, you can try it again. Well, maybe the second time to try. Let's give it another shot. See if something different happens. <laughs> Alright, one more try. Third time's a charm, right? Ah, darn it. Ah, don't mind if I do. Thank you very much. Ah, I'm gonna go to bed now. Wait, wait. Alright, so now he's asleep, so he's completely worthless to us, so fuck you, Birdie! Oh, how would I miss? How would I miss again? Come on, hit him! There we go. Yeah, screw you too. You're of no further use to me, Birdie, you worthless scarecrow. No, I'm just kidding, I like Birdie, he's awesome. Oh, just what I needed. In fact. It would seem to me that these give me just what I need at that moment in time. Oh, I see what he means. Context sensitive. Clever. Oh, and I feel loads better. Right, let's get out of here. Oh, and by the way, if for whatever reason you want to skip all these wonderful cutscenes, then just press the L button. But you will have to have watched them at least once. All right, so now we got control of Conquer, and he's no longer drunk, so we can jump. And, uh, yeah, he's just better. And over here, we're going to learn a uh, new ability, so let's check it out. Oh, I can't seem to get any further. I'm sure there was something. Ah, yeah, now I remember. Hold the zip up and down, and I should crap. Now then, what was it? Oh yeah, press A to jump extra high. Then A again to do that funny helicopter tail thing. Now that makes me harbor. Hmm, I should easily get across that gap. Um, are you sure you got that? Yes, I do. So, yeah. Uh, fair warning too, my window is open and it's a bit of a windy day, but also kind of a hot day. It's one of those weird days, so I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick up any uh, background noise. I hope not, but uh, we'll see about that. So, yeah, and also uh, it's worth mentioning that helicopter tail thing. I believe it might be a parody of Tails from Sonic the Hedgehog. I could be wrong, but who knows me, I'm right. So we're going to pull that lever right there, open that door, and we're going to go say hi to this gargoyle over here. Who's this guy? If you think you're coming this way, you can think again. Oh, you're a real charmer. I just want to get past, please. No, I don't think so. I've only just got comfy. Have you ever sat on a piece of gothic architecture for 200 years? Gets right up your ass, you know. Thought it was about time to move on to a bridge, say. And I'm not moving now. Isn't it a little bit early in the day to start talking about gothic architecture? Well, if you care to come a bit closer, we can discuss things of another nature. Well, all right, uh, what do you just want to discuss? Want to discuss the weather? This is some Holy shit! He just bitch smacked me and threw me off the cliff. Oh, that does it. He's fucking dead. I am going to kill that son of a bitch some way, somehow. I just don't know how I'm going to do it. I'd ask Birdie, but he's worthless now, so... Yeah. There's, there's gotta be some way I can kill him. Maybe I can find a weapon or something. Maybe in that door? I don't know. Maybe we'll find out in, say, part two? <laughs> yep, so, uh, as soon as I get through the door here, I'm gonna go and, uh, call it 
part one, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in part two. See you later.